If you're watching this video, you may be setting up a tarp for the first time or deciding if it's a piece of gear you're interested in. I wanted to share some tips for getting a really good pitch with a flat tarp. These are the sort of detail-oriented tips that don't get covered in basic tutorials. These principles can be applied to other tarp pitches, but what I describe here will allow you to achieve a drum-tight A-frame pitch with a flat tarp. The tarp I'm using here is a 9x7 flat tarp made of half ounce per square yard Cuban fiber from Z-Pax. It weighs 6.85 ounces with Kelty Triptease 1.5 millimeter guy lines. I don't use line lock tensioners on this tarp. My guy line lengths are 8 foot ridge lines, 4 foot corners, and 3 foot mid panels. Even longer ridge line lengths can be very helpful. Tip number one is to not apply any tension to the mid panel tie outs. You only want to remove slack. Applying tension creates visible creasing and reduces tension through the ridge line of your tarp. Over tensioning both mid panel tie outs on a flat tarp will make your ridge line go almost completely slack. It seems strange, but you want to just barely tighten these tie outs. This helps prevent excessive flapping in windy conditions. The second tip is to really crank down on your ridge lines. You want to apply a lot of tension. A knot that provides mechanical advantage like the trucker's hitch is key to being able to do this easily. You are trying to create a rigid structure from something that wants to sag naturally. Use your own best judgment for a reasonable tension that won't damage your gear, but it's probably more than you think. The ridge line is the foundation of an A-frame pitch. If you don't have a properly pitched ridge line, the rest of your tarp isn't going to be able to be pitched effectively. Third, correctly position your corner tieouts. They should be at roughly 45 degrees like everyone says, but not exactly. You can see the different edges of the tarp lose tension as the guy line becomes more perpendicular to it. Experiment with this. Pull on your corner guy line, adjust the angle, and pay attention to the point where the wrinkles go away. As the tarp smooths out, you can feel the correct position of the guy line. You also want your lines to pull in the same plane as the fabric of your tarp. For the corners of an A-frame, the stake positions will be more towards the side, so that they are pulling more perpendicularly to the ridge line to achieve even tension throughout the fabric. This is due to the lack of pressure that can be put on the mid-panel tie-outs to avoid disturbing the ridge line. Tension must be applied where the ridge line can be more directly supported instead. Number four. When staking your ridge line to the ground, get the stake point as far away as possible. Longer lines obviously help. The more parallel your guy line, the more tension is transferred to the ridge line. As the stake gets closer and closer, a greater proportion of the tension that you apply is directed downwards into your pole. If you staked at your pole handle, it's easy to imagine how it wouldn't tighten the ridge line at all, no matter how much force you applied. Lastly, position your pole tips as close to the ridge line as possible. You want the trekking pole tip to directly support the tension being applied by the corner tie-outs. An unsupported ridge line limits the tension the corner tie-outs can apply, as tightening them will bring your entire ridge line height down instead of just applying tension. Using two poles isn't my preferred way to set up an A-frame, as I prefer using a tree at my entrance end. This removes the pole from the entrance and makes it more livable. To add some support to the ridge line on the side, I make sure the ridge line is tied off on the tree a few feet higher than the desired height of the ridge line. This gives the corner tieouts something to pull down against and ensures you don't lose all your height when tensioning the tarp. If you are looking for pointers on getting the perfect tarp pitch or are just new to tarps, I hope this video helped you out.